Good morning, good morning. I'm going to do something that I haven't done in like over 15 years. I'm going to go set up at the flea market. Poor man's flea market in Washington, North Carolina. So uh, I got the truck loaded down full of treasures and uh, I'm going to go set up and uh, see what I can sell today. See if I can make a profit. Uh, my gold is over $30. If I get over, if I sell over thirty dollars worth of uh, treasures, then I'm in profit. So uh, let's go. All right, guys. So I got it all set up all out of the truck and this is what it looks like and uh before i got it out and all set up i made 37 dollars so i'm seven dollars in the profit so far so here's what it looks like and i'm right next to this guy over here ain't nobody come over next to me yet they don't like me so but this guy does he likes me he before he set up he made 50 dollars already and he found all this at his neighbor's house so he got a little score. <laughs> All right, a little update. It's like 90 degrees out here, but I got me an umbrella. And uh, my partner over there, he he's packing up. He said 11 o'clock, he's rolling out. So uh, he done made his money too. So I'm gonna hang tough. I'm gonna try to stick it out till about one. Jazam. Look, I'm all packed up. Because of the heat, it took me about 20 minutes to pack up, but if it wasn't so hot, I could have did it in like 15 minutes. So, uh, truck's full, I'm gonna get in here and head on to the house. Got a freaking goat over there at the goat. They don't know if they're selling that goat. They got chickens and everything. Shoot. I'm out of here. I got about an hour and 10 minute drive. And now I'm in the AC, so I'm gonna enjoy this. Poor man's flea market. Did pretty good. All right. It's week two of the flea market. Uh, last week, uh, I set up to about 12:30, and uh, I think I overdid it because it got hot out there. So. If you're out there at the flea markets and you got 95 degree uh, weather coming in, about 11.30, you need to start packing up and get it out of there. Uh, I, I rode home, I had like a dehydration headache, and uh, I had plenty of fluids, but I guess it wasn't enough. So, uh, yeah, if you're going to do some flea market, I would definitely uh, leave a little bit early, get there early, leave a little bit early, and uh, bring plenty of water. So I did pretty good. I made a profit of like 150 bucks for just one day, uh, you know, selling a bunch of my treasures. And uh, I did so good, I got a partner with me today, Rebecca Brown. Cheers. <laughs> she said cheers. So uh, this is the second week we're going to go there. Uh, it's Sunday and we're going to set up again and um, see how we do. And, uh, definitely going to leave at 11:30 today <laughs> it's supposed to be like uh get up in the 91s or something like that so it's going to be kind of hot the sun's already out and it's about seven o'clock we'll go there set up and uh get the selling let's go oh really throw her yeah that really throw her <laughs> hey barbara <laughs> you need to put your seatbelt on my seatbelt is <laughs> Uh, Rebecca was just telling me that you missed our video last week and uh, 
because we didn't make one so actually I made one but I'm going to combine these two videos into one and because uh, I didn't have enough content last week at the yard sale I didn't do much filming because it was kind of busy so uh, how you doing Barbara <clears throat> so uh, I got a little tip for you guys uh, if you go to the flea market and you set up get there probably about seven o'clock and a lot of a lot of you're going to get a lot of your sales like right in the beginning a lot of uh, resellers come around and snap up all your good stuff so uh you know price your stuff firm and uh, negotiate down from there so you know if you got something you want to sell for five bucks start at ten bucks and uh worm your way on down to five bucks so did you say worm your way yeah worm your way <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a hot one. There she is. Full blast. All right, we're all set up. It took us about an hour, and uh, before we got it out of the truck, we made $6 profit. So, we're $6 in, in the good, right? We'll turn you around and let you see the uh, site. All right, here it is, all set up. Uh, last time I was way over there. And I decided to move on the other side of this white building to see if it's a better location. I think it might be a better location as far as the sun, but uh, that's what she looks like. 20 by 20 spot, $10 a spot right here at Poor Man's Flea Market in Washington, North Carolina. Her, where you been at, woman? <laughs> where you been at, woman? That's a good point. Wait to see you. <laughs> my right. grandson is working on my my thing. How much that cost? On YouTube. Oh, is he? Did you get my um my links and stuff? I did. I sent back some things to them. Did you not get it? I I gotta check my messages. It was wonderful. I enjoyed it. I have studied everybody. Oh, the video? Yeah. Is there somewhere now they can go in and share that? Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll teach you how to do that. And boom. That's all we had time for. So, uh, yeah. Down there at the flea market again this weekend. And uh, it wasn't as good as last week. Uh, we found out that... Uh, it's back to school, so everybody's a little bit tight on their money. But uh, we did make a profit. Uh, we got to pay our overhead, which was just thirty bucks, and uh, we made that extra thirty bucks. So uh, we had we had a good time. Rebecca got to uh, get some snowballs, and uh, we went out to lunch and ate lunch right there at uh, Poor Man's Flea Market. They got some good chow over there. Uh, yeah. So uh, the weather out there, we, we packed up at 11.30. The weather got up into the 90s, and um, it's a lot better when you uh, pack up about 11.30 and roll out of there, especially with this this hot weather that uh, we've been experiencing here in North Carolina. So, uh, yeah, we had a great time. Rebecca's first time setting up at the flea market. She had a good time. She she got to meet a lot of people, and um, especially uh, Patricia over there at uh, Pine Top. She's got an antique store, and um, the, the store's still up for sale. And uh, down in the descriptions, I'll put a link uh, of a video um, I did a couple weeks ago. And you get the uh, if you're in the market for uh, buying an antique store here in North Carolina, you need to go check her out. Uh, she's selling out. She's got over. Two hundred thousand dollars in inventory, and uh, she's offering a real good deal. And um, she believes she has a, a a customer in mind that really wants the store. So uh, you need to hop on it if you're in the market of buying a, a store, a antique store, um, you know, over there in Pine Tops, North Carolina. So yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. And as always, I appreciate y'all watching Arrowhead Adventures and treasures we'll see you on the next one i gotta go feed my chickens all right y'all hold your horses we got some baby chicks
some more baby chicks in the mamas. And a couple more baby chicks over here. Y'all need to go on and get. I got you. I got you some chill right here. We're gonna go crazy. This little lone chick over here. What's going on, dude? Come on over here. You want some chow? See, there's Anna's chick. She's got four of them. They're little bantams. Let's see if Mama's still over here. There she is. Mama's still over here. Sitting on her eggs. She's hatching her eggs in the uh, trash can right here. So I got a tomato growing in it. She's down in there if you can see her. What's up, Sadie? We got to get old Sadie some chow. Come on. Go get it. Yeah. Sure. 